Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, I'm Roy. In this video, I will explain how to uh, make the Power Apps perform better for performance. Power is one of the programming language frameworks mostly used by programmers in the world. Now, Flutter is one, an open source framework developed by and supported by Google for an end full stack developer use Flutter to build an application UI for multiple purpose with a single code base. Hmm. How about performance? There are one message from Philip Hart from Google Developer, Google Developer Advocate. This they uh, he says general Flutter is optimized by default. But in the do we will learn mostly tips used and how to improve the Flutter apps. First, you must use a stateless widget. Stateless widgets are widgets that are only used to display something static. Does not track data change over time. Basically, the appearance of a stateless widget will be the same and there is no mechanism to monitor application state change. This is why he said to be stateless. When to use stateless widget to display that first you uh, to display static content such as text, icon, and image. Second, to create simple widgets such as button, check boxes, and radio buttons. Third, to create widgets are composed of the, of other widgets. And and then how to use the stateless widgets. First, choose the right place if you have a complex widget, choose the right place when you uh, use uh, when you use a stateless widget. You must select the part of the code that require that not require dynamic state change. Second, as usual, if you are using stateless widget type, you must extend the class with stateless widgets like this, and you cannot use the set state function. Third, the best practices. If you must use the dynamic UI, avoid using stateful widget on the root screen of the widget. Make sure only the widgets are used. Use extra class, then call the widget. Because if you change the state on the leaf, the widget pattern will reveal from the root, root, root of widgets to leaf of widget and that can affect the performance of your application. Step two, use a list view builder. In the uh, in developing an application, you will often encounter the use of UI list, such as chat list on WhatsApp, image place on image profiles, and many more. Why you you why um we our we use um list build list view builder? There are several reasons why you might want to use list view builders. First, per, uh, this is about performance. List view builder is more efficient than the standard list view constructor, especially for long lists. This is because it only create item as they are scrolled onto the screen. And memory usage, list view filter use less memory than the standard list view. This is because it only keeps the items that are generally visible in memory. To use the list view filter first, you use list view filter widgets. Then there will be one parameter that must be filled in, namely filter which will be the context argument and index. This is the, the index is used to select data from the list. Second, use a list style widget. List style widget is um, um, official widget from the planner. Okay, build the item in the builder which widget as you like, usually for a simple UI. Planner provide the list style widget. The best practices is that you prefer to use widgets that are provided by Flutter. 
because you no longer need to recreate them and that can increase your productivity. Widget widgets are like list style, circle avatar, tooltips, tabber, bottom sheet, color dialog, network in image, save area, and many more. You can see it more detailed and fun, of course, on the official Flutter YouTube channel in widget of the week playlist. Step three, use cons keyword. Cons is one of many keywords in Dart programming language. Use cons constructors on widget as much as possible since they allow Flutter to short circuit most uh, of the Revlet work. How to use uh, cons widget? Okay. This is I have a, a simple code. This is a have scaffold, then child, child have child center, then have child size box, then have a child again text. Simply, this is um must uh you, um he just add the cons keyword in the beginning of widget call or constants data declaration. The condition is that the widget being called must not have its parameter filled with any values like text, like the widget text. You can uh, add cons like this and the end there is like this. The const with keyword means the widget not uh, need a parameter like this. Okay. Uh, second, to make it easier to distinguish which one should be given the const keyword, use Flutter link. This is a link official linter uh, from Flutter. Then we go to the pubspec YAML file in your projects like this. Add the Flutter link skill line like this, where with uh, the newest version in in the dev dependencies like this. And then packet to implement the library. And, uh, Uh, the sec the, the the last step uh, to the improve Flutter app is using DevTools. DevTools is tooling site for Flutter and that for developers consisting of layered inspection tools, performance tools, memory tools, basically all the debugging tools that you need to be an efficient and effective Flutter developer bundled into a single website. How to run? How to run the dev tools? Okay. Uh, we'll back uh, the ID after gaining a basic understanding of dev tools. Let you now proceed with activating running the tool on your account ID. In my case, I use Intelis ID. Uh, whatever ID you, need, uh, you use, make sure the Flutter application is running in debug mode like this. Uh, second, in Intelis ID, if you're using Intelis ID, go to run in this and then click start logo like this as at least the default browser of your os will be open to title the default sites uh, like this you can export the devtools like um debugger logging a widget tree other inspector like this and you can um uh, if you using the network call there's an API like uh, you can um locking lock, view the lock of HTTP uh, uh connection in DevTools. Uh okay, thank you for watching in this video tutorial on fun. I hope you have learned a lot about this powerful framework for building a web and web application. It's because Flutter offer a number of advantages over other frameworks. For more info about Flutter, check it out. Flutter.tech.